Welcome to another tutorial on uh, peer forms. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure captive portal over HTTPS or SSL connection. In the previous video, I covered uh, how to configure the captive portal on a default HTTP session, which exposes the username and password. In this video, we will configure the Captive portal over HTTPS session using the self signed certificate. So, on my screen, this is the PF Forms firewall with two interfaces one is the WAN, another one is the LAN. WAN is having the IP address 192.168.137.135, LAN is having 1031135. And all my clients are connected to LAN interface. And they're getting the IP address from the DHCP service that I have. So on my firewall, under user management, I have a username. So this username was created for the captive portal login. And for those of you who would like to know the complete uh, configuration, can actually refer to my last video on PFSense captive portal where I have covered all the steps required to complete the captive portal configuration. Moving forward, okay. So this was the test user created for the captive portal authentication and on my services, you have the DHCP enabled on LAN. And on the capture portal, I already have the profile created. Please refer to my last video to configure this captive portal profile. So if you click on edit, you scroll down. You will under the capture portal configuration. As you can see, it is enabled on LAN boot. If you scroll down, you will see an option. HTTPS option, you will have to click on this. And then you will have to specify the host name that you have defined in the certificate. For example, if you go back to the self-signed certificate, the system search manager, if you go to certificate, I have generated a certificate with the common name as pf.summit.com. So this is the certificate that I'm going to use for the SSL connection. And if you go back to the server, click on edit, come to the last option, click on enable HTTPS set login, enter the CN name here. And then select the certificate that you have generated. Click on set. So now we have enabled the capital portal over HTTPS SSL session so that we can safeguard our username and password. Let me switch to the client machine. So this is my client machine, which is connected to the PFSense LAN interface. This is the LAN interface IP. And you can check the detail here. It is getting the IP from the PFSense firewall. So you can see here, the system is getting the IP address from the, from the PFSense firewall and we are able to see the information here as well. 
and this is the information that is received on the client from the PF Science Firewall, TCP server. Now I have not authenticated myself. Since I have not authenticated my, I will not be able to reach out to any website or will not be able to ping anything. Let's try to open the browser. As you can see on the browser, I'm getting a notification to log into the network before I can access the internet. And before that, I'll show you the difference. I have a capture from the previous session where the captive portal was configured over HTTP. So this was the capture from the previous session when Capri portal was running over HTTP session. And on my screen, you can clearly see the username and password, which is exposed. And anybody in the network can sniff the packet and get this information. So the idea behind Capri portal over HTTPS or SSL is to safeguard the sensitive information. So now I'll try to click on this and you will see that I have a prompt here because I have not added that certificate here. And you can click on the view certificate to confirm that this is from the PF thing. I have enabled the capture. Let's try to open the browser again. My screen, you can see here, client trying to initiate the SSL connection to the firewall, which is the pfpin, pf.summit.com.
Now I'll try to authenticate myself. So now I'm able to ping the Google website as soon as I authenticated myself. And at the same time, my communication is protected. We are having a special connection. Nobody can actually see the username and password. So this is the complete communication from the client to the PF10 on the Capi portal service. That's all in this video. See you in the next one. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel.